be kind of overcome. Which get that. pinged as well. That's true, but then he cannot ping the other minions. Well, it's it's kind of hard of to course, tell, I yeah. think. I, I'm, I, I haven't played this matchup that much, so I, I'm not sure. But I think that Priest is definitely the favorite when going to a matchup against I Paladin. haven't played it on the Fatigue Mage side, but I haven't played it on the Paladin side. And from my experience, I think Fatigue Mage just, it overwhelms you. You don't have the burst to finish him off. And just right when you're about to kill him, yeah, he gets a freeze off, etc. And then your Leon ends are like dead. Even if they heal you for eight, you don't want to draw at all. Oh, it seems my client bugs. So I'm gonna have to rebuild my game. All right, and he chose to go for the mage. You asked for it. That's interesting. Is it fatigue though? No, we see a pyroblast there. It's freeze mage. Wow. He saw Leonans and he saw a heal bot and he went for fatigue mage for freeze mage. That's the really risky. Yeah, especially like Savis has been known for running two lay on hands even, so if that makes it even, even an even easier matchup for Savis. So I kind of have to doubt the choice that Cypher made right there. Priest would have probably been safer, but maybe he didn't feel confident in that matchup enough. But sure, I mean, Savis needs to draw those heal cards too, and one only one drawing one of them is not enough. He needs like at least two. To yeah, he's going to need at least burst. two of those big heals, yeah. But Cypher knows that he has at least 16 heal plus 4 from each true silver, so that's 24 heal the Paladin has, that Cypher knows of for sure. And there's already one heal in Savi's hand with an antique heal bot. Savi's obviously does not know what kind of mage uh, Cypher is yet. But I'm pretty sure he will find out soon enough. Soon enough, yeah. So he's coining right out now, Arcane yeah. and that's a tell, yeah. Yeah, right now, Freeze Mage is pretty much the only class that runs Arcane Intellect. And that would coin it out, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Antonidas draw. That represents a lot of potential burst. Exactly, yeah. At some a point. A good Antonidas can win these unfavorable matchups where they have a lot of heal, but if they don't have an answer there, their Antonidas is going to feed off you. So he's just dropping that... Um, Mind control tech, knowing that it doesn't get really generate matter, any yeah. advantage in this matchup. There's so never a, this there's never a time where Freeze Mage has four minions on the board. So Stryfer draws another two, and he's up to nine cards, doesn't he? Yeah, he has nine cards in hand, so he's not going to discard next turn. And it's pretty unfortunate. You know what yeah, it was yeah. really rough. He has four secrets and two scientists in hand. That is so rough. What are the odds, man? So he's playing a blank scientist now, but uh, Savish doesn't know. <laughs> I'm not a mathematician, but that <laughs> those odds are pretty low, I think. I want to see Savish's <laughs> face once he kills that. Oh man, imagine Savish's imagine Savish's face when he sees that no secret pops out of this. <laughs> Here we go. <gasps> oh my goodness. On my screen I can see a zero zero oh, zero kill. I was like, that. what the hell is that? <laughs> what a bug. Oh never mind that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, oh man, man. This, this is so brutal for Cypher. <laughs> no, he's smiling, man. That's so wow. Yeah, Savis has got to be happy about that. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> look, look, look how he's smirking. Yeah. It's a six-card <laughs> engine oh, in his deck. Four secrets and two cards that pull the secrets, and he drew all of them. Yeah, surely with that kind of draw, Savis right now the odds-on favorite. But obviously, there's still a way for uh, Freeze Mage to get back in this. So Crux the Ice Bear, he gets a Sky Down Down. And if there's no freeze, that 6 damage is going to go through. You got a end turn, okay. Scientist gets dropped, and a Hoarder. And the Recruit gets banged, okay. So he's still playing a blank scientist rather than a <laughs> his own trap, right? Wow, that's once again this pilot sky golem just dealing so much damage. Yep. 
It carves really good. And it's so hard for, to handle it for Freeze Mage, because Freeze, Mage don't, Freeze Mages don't run Polymorph, uh, most of them at least, don't run Polymorph And even anymore. if they did, like, there's Tyrion as well in Kel'Thuzad, like, yeah. it's so scary that you, you probably can't handle all of this. He just needs to start drawing all of his AoE Freezes and Dim Sayers, I think. Otherwise, it's looking very rough. He's already at 12 HP on turn 7 versus Paladin. So he's being rushed down. Two Ice Lenses. I mean, often enough, you just want to use Ice Lens on something like a Piloted Sky Golem, I think, just to prevent the damage. Well, he has a Nova and a Blizzard, though. I think... I mean, couldn't he have played the Ice Lens last turn, for example? Would you really want to, though? To prevent six damage, that's a lot of damage. It's, it's a fifth of your health. I guess it's a six. Yeah, six damage that you heal up for. Oh man, Kel'Thuzad coming down, and and <laughs> Cypher has no answer to it. Yeah, Kel'Thuzad kind of stops Blizzard altogether. He, he, if he wants to kill his Kel'Thuzad, he has to use uh, Ice Lances to do it. Oh, the Doomsayer draw, that's a really that's nice draw. Big, yeah, but there's an owl on the other side, so we know that. But I think Cypher's forced to Doomsday in Frost over here. Yeah, this is actually a matchup where Sabi is really happy about having two Owls in his deck. Just being able to unfreeze big minions and also silence Doomsayers is uh -huh. so crucial. Yeah, Sabi is fully in control, has two big heals as well. Even if Cypher starts to burst him down, he can just heal up back yes. again. And honestly, I think from Cypher's Cy uh, perspective right now, the only way to actually win is to stall and burn the, the face. Because we can see that he has two fireballs, two lances, and... I mean, yeah, two fireballs, two lances, and one frostbolt. So that's how, how much damage? 23 damage off the top. So he has 23 damage in his hands. And if he draws a pyroblast, that'd be lethal, but there's 16 health that Savage can heal up for. I mean, well, I don't want to question Cypher's skill, obviously, but uh, I th I'm pretty sure that Freeze Mage was not the correct call there. Seems so, yeah, considering he knew all the heal that Savish had. So he's going for a Blizzard play. He has no other way to freeze the board, but it's unfortunate that the minions that die to this blizzard are gonna get revived. And will be able to attack the face. Yeah. He got the Sky Golem back. This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do this? And this enables Savis to actually pop the ice block too. Wow, he's popping ice block already. This is huge. I don't think there's a way for Cypher at all. Well, he, he has a second ice block, but there's it's only buys him one more turn, and yeah. there's nothing to clear the board. The only way would probably be to not get the ice block pop this turn and start freezing and burning the face from from now on. But yeah, but it's not po it's just not possible. Let's see when Cypher decides to concede this game, because <laughs> <laughs> there's like no way you can come back from this. Usually when your ice blocks get popped this early and you tr and you still have like, what, 11 cards in your deck, then yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty rough. You need, because often enough you just need to draw almost your entire deck as freeze mage to in order to burst him down yeah, effectively. Yeah, 20 to 25 cards usually gives you the win if you're in a favorable scenario. Mm. You just need to draw the burn necessary and yeah, and uh, Cypher does have a lot of burn potential in his hand, but just not the health to survive those turns. Yeah, he's trying to survive here, but... And this is pretty much why it's it's often enough important to just prevent six damage with an Ice Lens. So uh, you just don't yeah, get the to the scenario where... Yeah, yeah, you just don't get to the scenario where Ice Block gets popped. But still, we looking at this game state, even if we did that, like... You would be popping the block this turn, you would be winning next turn. Or two turns from now since there's a second block, etc. Yeah, and don't and yeah, and we're not even mentioning the heal. 
He could have killed the Doomsayer here, but he, he opted not to. He just sent him turn. I guess it doesn't really matter, but... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It only matters if there's, like, jugglers involved or something like that. Don comes in second freeze. cross nova. I stand to freeze the hero to prevent lethal, but it's just biding time. Yeah. Just avoiding the in inevitable. Surely next turn the game is going to be over. What about Consecration? Actually, si actually Savis has the second silence, as oh we right. can see. Yeah. And that's going to be oh. it. Savis, advan uh, not advancing, but 2-0 right yeah, now. Yeah, 2-0 over yeah. Cypher. We're going to go game number three soon. And th those were really fast games, actually. Yeah, Savis um, definitely proving that it, well, he's one of the strong contenders, and uh, yeah, the Paladin just going ham. Well, very obvious, yeah. But we can see that he also had very good draws, and uh, Cypher was not so lucky. Yeah, Cypher, oh my god, that that draw was atrocious. Honestly, I would have liked to watch this matchup like as it should be, okay? Not like uh, drawing every single worst possible card in the 